For decades, the United States and other militaries around the world have been developing laser weapons that can be used against hostile targets to cause as much damage as possible. However, the U.S. Air Force has recently developed a unique-looking state-of-the-art laser rifle that aims to do the contrary and has been baptized as the Phaser, or Personnel Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle. The weapon has a laser sight that dazzles the targets and temporarily incapacitates them without causing any sort of irreversible damage or revealing the source. It is described by the United States Air Force as, quote, a rifle-sized laser weapon system that uses two non-lethal laser wavelengths to deter, prevent, or mitigate an adversary's effectiveness. Many people believe the rifle might have been inspired by the famous Star Trek franchise. Regardless, it honors its oft-heard philosophy that calls for the ship's crew to avoid any lethal engagement, or, as they put it, set phasers to stun. Sabre 203 Laser. One of the Air Force Directed Energy Directorate's first laser weapon developments was Sabre 203, a state-of-the-art laser that was specifically fitted to an M16 assault rifle armed with a 40mm grenade launcher. Sabre 203 comprised two parts, a metallic capsule that shares the same shape and size as the 40mm grenade launcher and that houses the laser device, and a tiny control box that snaps onto the launcher's base. To use the laser, an operator first loaded the laser capsule into the 40mm tube as if it were a grenade. Then, he placed a battery pack on the M16's underside and snapped it. The operator then manually activated the laser with a button located on the battery pack, and it could be set in motion without interruption or pulse to turn it on and off. Sabre 203 was easy to operate and handle under combat, where a soldier or marine could easily swap the capsule for a conventional grenade to fire against the enemy. During the American invasion of Somalia during Operation United Shield in 1995, U.S. Marines employed the laser with great success against the enemy as part of their nighttime operations. Sabre 203 then led to the development of BOSS, the Battlefield Optical Surveillance System. BOSS comprised an array of sensors, lasers, and optics that were mounted on top of Humvees and other American armored vehicles. A red or green laser was used to aim at specific targets before the soldiers could fire their machine guns. The Sabre 203 laser illuminator set the groundwork for what would eventually be the phaser rifle. Banning laser weapons. Blinding laser weapons have been banned since 1995 under the Protocol on Blinding Laser Weapons. Protocol 4 of the 1980 Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons was formally issued by the UN on October 13, 1995. Since then, over 109 countries have agreed to the protocol, and the United States acceded to it on January 21, 2009. The reason behind the protocol's adoption was to, quote, counter the silent and invisible threat to human sight posed by the threat of blinding laser weapons deemed to cause unnecessary suffering or superfluous injury. Article 1 from the protocol establishes that, quote, it is prohibited to employ laser weapons specifically designed as their sole combat function or as one of their combat functions to cause permanent blindness or unenhanced vision, that is, to the naked eye or to the eye with corrective eyesight devices. The high contracting parties shall not transfer such weapons to any state or non-state entity. However, based on Article 3, the protocol does not prohibit attacks against optical equipment such as periscopes, telescopes, and binoculars. Still, such attacks may also lead to human injury, and it is an ongoing issue. The Phaser Rifle The Personnel Halting and Stimulation Response, or Phaser, has a laser light that illuminates or dazzles aggressors and temporarily impairs individuals and their ability to see the laser source. This innovative, non-lethal illumination technology was developed by the Scorpworks Laboratory Team, a research unit in the Laser Division of the Air Force Research Laboratory's Directed Energy Directorate at Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The project's sole objective was to come up with what Kirtland Air Force officials have described as, quote, 
the first man-portable, non-lethal deterrent weapon intended for protecting troops and controlling hostile crowds. During a recent live weapons demonstration test at Kirtland Air Force Base, Captain Drew Gettler showed how the Phaser laser rifle operates. Members from the Air Force Research Laboratory's Directed Energy Directorate explained that the Phaser rifle was developed to neither fatally wound nor injure the intended targets. Instead, the weapon only temporarily blinds them to immobilize them without causing bodily harm. Prototypes Two prototypes were shown to the public before one of them was shipped to Texas for additional testing. Funding for this non-lethal rifle came from the Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate and the National Institute of Justice, one of the most important organizations when it comes to using military technology for civil law enforcement. The phaser program has also received support from the Department of Defense, with the intention to mass-produce the laser weapon for police roles. Spokespersons from the Department of Defense have pointed out that the phaser rifle could be used to temporarily blind suspects who drive through a roadblock or any other situation in which non-lethal methods can be used to take down a target. Although it has never been publicly acknowledged, it is possible that the laser rifle's name comes from the so-called phaser rifle used by characters from the Star Trek science fiction franchise. In that universe's lore, the phaser is a portable energy weapon with two different firing modes. One can fatally wound a target, while the other can strike living organisms with non-lethal effects that temporarily incapacitate them. How it works. Despite the little information that has been shared by the Air Force and the Department of Defense, some experts have explained how the phaser laser rifle works. First, it incorporates a unique power source that makes the weapon completely self-contained. Second, it includes two low-power diode-pumped lasers, one visible wavelength and one mid-infrared one. Despite the many innovations of the phaser rifle and its supposedly harmless characteristics, many are still doubtful. During an interview with Will Knight from New Scientist, Tobias Fekin, an expert at Bradford University's non-lethal weapons research project in the United Kingdom, said, quote, In the past, the problem with lasers of this type has been that they often permanently blind human targets. This new wave of low-intensity laser weapons does not have a permanently damaging effect, apparently. Other global agencies currently working on weapons of the same nature have shared similar concerns. Some laboratories have conducted studies that have shown that even lower laser systems can lead to irreversible eye damage if they are used at close quarters for extended periods of time. Other experts that have worked with similar projects have claimed that Phaser may attempt to address these safety concerns by automatically sensing the target from a safe distance. This eye-safe rangefinder may help the operator adjust the laser's power according to the target's location. This is also where the two-wavelength laser system may come in handy to counter goggles that can filter specific wavelengths of a laser sight. The Air Force and Scorp Works are hard at work testing the laser weapon to ensure it complies with United Nations directives. And in order to license the phaser rifle, the Air Force would have to prove that it is not harmful to the eye and does not lead to permanent damage. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Also, let us know what you think of this peculiar non-lethal laser rifle, and stay tuned for more.